Okay, so for this project, we're going to learn about how things look smaller when they're further away. We're also going to use watercolor to make a really pretty winter landscape. A landscape is a picture or a drawing of the outside. So if there's trees around, if there's land around, typically in a landscape, there will not be any people. So we're going to start with some hills. So with your pencil, before you move on to your watercolor paper, you might want to practice this on a different piece of paper, like a plain white paper. Um, then, once you feel like you've got enough practice in, you can move on to the nice watercolor paper. And with that, you will start in pencil and then go over everything with a Sharpie if your parent says that's okay. If not, you can use uh, just a black marker. All right, so I'm gonna draw my first hill from the left side of my paper to the bottom of my paper. All right, and now I'm gonna do my second hill and it's gonna go starting in the middle of the first hill to the right side of my paper. All right, and let's go ahead and add one more hill and we'll do that starting right on top of this one. All right, so now I have my hill, so the next thing I'm gonna add are my trees. So I'm gonna start with my trees in the very front of my page. And I'm gonna make them big because they're in the front of my page. So I'll start with just a vertical line and then a curved line. So I'm just gonna keep adding these curved lines of my tree. So you can add as many curved lines as you want to fill your tree. If you're happy with it like it is now, then you can go ahead and stop. If you want to add some more, please add more. All right, so I have my first tree drawn out. Now, my next one is gonna go on the next closest hill. Which one is the next closest hill? If you thought to yourself this one, then you would be absolutely right. So now we're gonna make a medium sized tree on this hill because it's not as close to us as this one is. So it doesn't need to be as big. And then we'll add all the curved lines on the tree just like the first one. As many curved lines as you want, as long as they are curving out like this. Okay, and if you wanted to add another tree right next to this one to give it a friend, that would be awesome. I think we should. Maybe this one can be just slightly smaller. And if you're using Sharpie, you need to make sure you have a paper underneath your paper so we don't get any stains anywhere. Okay, again, do this in pencil first. All right. Let's add a tiny tree back here. It's going to be the smallest because it's the furthest away from us. Baby tree. Okay, and now you can decide what you want to do. Do you want to add even more trees in the front? Do you want to add more trees here? Do you want to add another baby one in the background? As long as you make sure you keep the sizes the same. The one closest to us on this first hill is largest. The one on the second hill is the medium size. And then the one on the furthest hill 
is our tiniest. All right, so the next thing we will do is start our watercolor sky. So keep practicing your trees and get it to where you want it to be. I would also suggest writing your name on the bottom now.